Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we'll look into another very useful blueprint. And this one is called the OPC Bifrost Jump Drive Module, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is a small large block grid that features four jump drives and plenty of connectors to dock up pretty much anything to this and allow it to jump up to 8,000 kilometers. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, the jump drive is 324 large blocks using no DLC pack items, no mods, it features no subgrids, and as it states up here, it's survival ready. So giving this thing a thumbs up, we'll move all the way around to what I think is the very front, we'll have a quick look around the outside, and then we'll test it out with my little ship right over there, and we'll see how well that goes. So at the very front here, this is what we get. Front and centre, we got one of many connectors around this thing for you to talk up a small ship, a large ship, or even a base if you wanted to. Surrounding that, we got some lovely clean white blocks, as well as a few orange and dark grey dotted around this thing. If we were to turn around and onto the side, what we're going to see is a blinking white light, and down here, we got ourselves a beacon to make sure we can find it when we're out and about in space. If you were to continue around the side, we'll see another connector on the conveyor sticking all the way out the side here to allow a larger ship to come over to here and dock up and utilize its functions. If we were to continue around the side, we'll see the first of four jump drives on this thing right there. And if you were to come all around towards the very back, we'll see even more blinking white lights. And at the very back itself, we can see all four jump drives as well as a couple of batteries and another connector underneath in case you have a docking port on top of your ship. If you were to come all the way down and underneath, we'll see a couple of magnetic plates just in case you need it. There's the bottom of our jump drives, and we can clearly see our connector at the bottom and at the front. All the way towards the front there, rather than the beacon on this side, we've got ourselves another battery to help power this thing. And if we were to come all the way up and above to recharge our batteries, we've got ourselves two solar panels at the top there. So it'll take quite some time to charge this thing up via these two solar panels to have it all set up and ready to go. But then again, once you've jumped with this, you can just leave it out in space, go off and do your thing, then hopefully by the time you come back, it'll be all ready to go. But that is pretty much it for the outside of the jump drive module. It's very self-explanatory with what this thing does, and well, you kind of get the idea without me needing to explain it. But what we can do now is just grab hold of my character, and it's time for a demonstration. So I'm just going to come all the way over to my little ship right here, and we're going to start it up. We're going to ignore any kind of clanging sounds because it does have a few moving parts on the top there. So this, if you haven't noticed already, is a small block ship and we're simply going to dock it up with my rear connector. Come into this camera right here to try and line it up. And hopefully, it's a bit fiddly, we'll get it all done. So we can see the connector on the top right hand corner. We're now just going to reverse this all the way up. And hopefully, we'll get it in. That should be good enough. Might need to come a bit lower. And there we go. Coming out of the camera, I can now bring up the HUD and lock myself in place. And now we're firmly attached onto the jump drive module and we can fly it around like a regular ship if we wanted to. Now all we've got to do to finish off the setup is of course find our jump drive in this menu. Just going to find it in here. We're just going to drag one of these all the way down to here and click jump. And then when we press it, we can jump 8,000 kilometers, which is very nice stuff, especially for a small ship. I'm just going to do that right away. And because I'm using the world from the last video, there's not really any asteroids or plants around, so there's no indication of really how far we're jumping. But there we go with that. And once we're done, we can just disconnect ourselves, fly away, and that'll slowly recharge over time. There we are, and that's all it does. Very simple and very, very useful. And that is basically it for all this thing has to offer. Like I said, it's very self-explanatory with what it does. You simply attach it onto any old grid via a connector, and away you go. But now we just sit there and recharge up. We can just go and fly away, do some combat if we want to, and, well, shoot it up by accident. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download it and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do because it is survival friendly and it should be very, very useful if you are planning to build a large small block ship, like a destroyer, a battle cruiser. Because I know a lot of people like using small blocks because of how dirt cheap they are in comparison to the large grids. But you always run into that little issue of certain blocks not being available such as a jump drive. So if you do want to have a non-modded jump drive, then this is one of the best solutions you can do. So there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around for yourself. And I'll be back with another video somewhat soon. Bye bye.